With the publication of his most recent book, Tom Parker Bowles has been channeling his inner Marcel Proust. The book tells the story of famous royals and the meals they enjoyed the most. The acclaimed food critic has also taken advantage of the opportunity to reflect on the breakfasts, lunches, and dinners he spent growing up with his mother, the future Queen Camilla, around the dining table. Welcome viewers to my channel, please subscribe, like my video and turn on notifications so you don't miss our next update. We all gather around the table, he explained to hello, I come from a very laid back family. We as a whole love food, everyone enjoys a drink. Eating times with Camilla and Tom's dad, Andrew Parker Bowles, would frequently highlight produce developed at their farmhouse, the 8000 section of Land Bullehyde Estate in Wiltshire where the family resided somewhere in the range of 1973 and 1986. Tom stated that it was a peaceful British upbringing. In keeping in mind that Proust had his Madelines, Hardier Charge sends the sovereign's child back to his experience growing up. Tom has previously expressed fond memories of the meals that his mother, who is said to be an excellent cook, would prepare each day, a shepherd's pie, a traditional roast chicken, or scrambled eggs for breakfast. At the point when his folks isolated in 1995, notwithstanding, this ideal peaceful youth took a more pained turn after the press found out about his mom's relationship with Lord Charles, then the sovereign of grains. At that point, Tom and Camilla were suddenly thrust into the public eye, drawing the attention of photographers and journalists. He explained, the aggression of the paparazzi, the screaming, the shouting, and she didn't have a network to protect her made this newfound connection to royal life quickly become life-threatening for both Tom and his mother, especially in the bad days, the middle of the 90s. I recall extremely risky high-speed pursuits on the M4 highway. Sovereign Camilla herself has recently gotten serious about how troublesome that time was for herself as well as her loved ones. She acknowledged, in an interview with British Vogue prior to her 75th birthday, that, living under such pressure of such media scrutiny is not easy. I was examined for so long that you simply need to track down a lifestyle choice with it, made sense of the then Duchess of Cornwall. Nobody likes to be looked at and criticized constantly, but I think I eventually rise above it and move on with my life. Regardless of the dangers and nerves that accompany such steady press consideration, Tom let the power source know that he never disdained Camilla for her relationship with the future ruler. He praised her for remaining a good mother. Tom has also enjoyed his own bond with King Charles, whose contribution to cooking in the crown was invaluable, as the tabloid frenzy has diminished over the years. To be sure, the previous Tatler food writer has frequently spoken about his stepfather's energy for neighborhood produce, calling him a genuine food legend in a meeting with You magazine.